Exodus chapter 33 And the Lord instructed Moses, Go away from here, you and the people you brought out of the land of Egypt, to the land I promised with an oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, to a land flowing with milk and honey. But I will not go up among you, for you are a stiff-necked people, and I might destroy you on the way. When the people heard this troubling news, they mourned, and no one put on ornaments. The Lord had said to Moses, Tell the Israelites you are a stiff-necked people. If I were to go with you even for a moment, I might destroy you. So now take off your ornaments, that I may decide what to do with you. So the Israelites stripped off their ornaments at Mount Horeb. Moses then took the tent and pitched it outside the camp, at a distance from the camp, and he called it the tent of meeting. Anyone inquiring of the Lord would go to the tent of meeting outside the camp. And when Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand at the entrance of their tents, watching Moses until he entered the tent. As Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and remain at the entrance while the Lord spoke with Moses. When all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, they would rise and bow in worship, each one at the entrance of his own tent. The Lord would speak with Moses face to face, just as a man speaks with his friend. Then Moses would return to the camp, but his young assistant Joshua, son of Nun, would not leave the tent. Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, lead this people up, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not lead us up from here. How will it be known that your people and I have found favor in your sight unless you go with us? We will be distinguished, your people and I, from all the people on the face of the earth. The Lord told Moses, I will do this very thing you have asked, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Please show me your glory. And the Lord replied, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you, and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no one can see me and live. The Lord continued, There is a place near me where you are to stand upon a rock. As my glory passes by, I will put you in the crevice of the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take my hand away, and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. 